musicians, so I was always around just music and rhythms and something about rhythms and drums I just love. So when I saw the movie Tap, mm -hmm. and I saw you could do all these rhythms with your feet, and I knew about tap dancing, but I never really watched it. And that movie came on and I was in my parents' bedroom and I just saw all the tapping around. I was like, I have to do that. And I thought it was the coolest thing ever because of the rhythms. Because I did music before I tapped. And my parents, my dad plays trumpet, my mom plays flute. And then my brother and I were told um, when we were eight that we had to pick one instrument and play piano through high school. So we both played piano and I picked flute, which my mom plays. And then my dad plays trumpet and that's what my brother played. So people assume, yeah, like, wow, you can tap dancing, and they think, yeah, it's an older art form, maybe it's not for young people, or it's not cool for young people to do, but there's a lot of young, amazing tap dancers that can do every style. I just think it was really nice to have a supportive family, because tap dancing is not a money-making career. I never thought about, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to make money, and I'm going to go and be on Broadway. I never thought about that. It's just, it really is. People do it for the love. You know, it's the cheesy, they do it for the love of the dance, the love of the tap, but people really do it because they love it, and they get in their own world when they start tapping, and those rhythms come out, they're just in a different place, and it really just makes you happy. I started tapping at the age of seven. Started off doing everything, you know, my mom had me and my brothers and sisters doing, you know, sports, diving, I was on the swim team, diving team, soccer team, and then she put me in front of tap. I remember I saw the movie tap, and I was like, ooh, I love tap. So I've been kind of doing it ever since, I just kind of stuck with that. There was a time, probably like around the ages 13 through 15, where, you know, I thought I was going to be in the NBA, so I was like, you know, I'm going to put tap on, on, on hold, you know, I'm playing basketball, you know. Yeah, I'm NBA, you know, I'm a I'm gonna be a power forward, you know, because I like in Little League basketball, I was the power forward because, you know, I'm kind of like a, a wider body, so they always be like, you're the power forward. Little did I know, you know, an NBA power forward is like 6'8", and I'm like, I was like 5'8", like, it might not work out, you know. The way I approach tap dancing is I just approach it just like hearing, you know, you gotta start with hearing different things, you know. Um, even talking to somebody right now, like I'm saying this to you right now, and then I hear that rhythm in my head, saying this to you right now. I just keep it simple, you know. I can do whatever you want me to do, but I'm a tap dancer, simple. I started tapping when I was about 10. I went to a mainly, a predominantly sports school, so it was a private school, and kids don't like to hear that a guy is tapping or dancing, period. So I had a lot of problems with kids, with my friends. A lot of my people, a lot of my friends were not friends with me anymore because I started dancing. Tapping is an expression of yourself. It's just a way to get away, just get away from the world, get away from anything that you're feeling bad about, any, any, any problems, just an escape. It may be hard right, right away to jump into improv and just to let it out, but as soon as you get going, it's just so natural and so freeing that it's, it's a great stress reliever. Don't take drugs, do tab. The music that really drives me is the really complex music. So I play snare drum, timpani, I can play symphony orchestra, and I play um, a lot of drumline stuff. And ever since I was little, the idea of tap dancing was really appealing to me. A couple of years ago, I was at Cal State Long Beach. The dance department is right next to the music department. So I just randomly signed up for tap dance class. These um, tap dancers, you know, the real tap dancers, I don't consider myself a real tap dancer. But they show me all this stuff, and it's like, it's just natural for them. And they all recognize the steps, they know who invented the stuff, and what time period it came from. So that's what I'm trying to master right now. I'm trying to get some more vocabulary. My name is Sarah Reich, and I'm 18 years old. I've been dancing since I was five years old. When I improvise, it de kind of depends on what, to, what song I'm dancing to. Because if it's a jazz, I, I can really swing to it. Um, but if it's hip hop, I can get really funky and really rhythmical. Um, I have heels with um, a pair of high heel shoes with Miller and Ben, uh, the inspiration clippers. And I really like them. 
So now women are coming back now wearing heels. The movie Happy Feet, that was like a really big step for tap because it got all these little kids really interested in it. Shows like So You Think You Can Dance and Dance with the Stars, they don't put tap in it because they think it's too hot. But still, you know, it's an American art form. We do need to get back out there.